Hi guys, welcome back to my birth coin mining farm. My name is Kira and today I'd like to mod another power supply. This video will be about my internal mining rigs and this is the first video of the series. I've been trying to get these videos going for quite a while now. I've had my internal rigs for a couple months now and I've had one running with 24 drives and it's been doing pretty good. But the problem that I have, especially when I'm making videos, is they're extremely loud. The fans on these are just like hurricanes. So what I want to do before I start the main videos about how to set up an internal mining rig is quiet the power supply so that I can have one running while I'm recording my videos. So this is the power supply that uh, is from the JBOD and um, it's actually a really cool power supply. I just wish it wasn't so noisy. It's a modular power supply and it came with three of these units and these are 350 watts each and you just snap them in and they've got this cool connector plate so you can go like this. But these things, they are so stinking noisy. So yeah, I'm going to take this apart. Uh, we'll, we'll leave this, we'll leave the main unit together and actually I have a feeling that I could resell these internal power supplies on eBay for more than I paid for the entire JBOD. So we'll see how that goes. My main goal today is to get these, get these cables off here. I'm going to cut it right here and then these are going to be my two clips um, and there's three of those. And so I want to make sure that I'm not overloading power, especially on the 12 volt lines uh, coming from my replacement PSU. So let me show you that real quick. So this is my replacement PSU. Uh, this is a Lapa B1000M. And this is an older power supply that I've had. Uh, it was originally on my external mining rig, but uh, not anymore. Uh, I was looking at it and I noticed the number of lines coming out of this box is great. It's got so many wires coming out of it. So whatever this JBOD is going to pull when the discs start up, which is going to be quite a few amps, um, this thing should be able to handle it. But that's not all. Um, this is a hybrid power supply. It's, it's partially modular. So like this is really handy. I can plug in stuff in here. But what I really, really like is it's already got a lot of these 12 volt lines already coming out of it. That is exactly what I need to power uh, the drives in my JBOD. And if you guys aren't familiar with JBOD, it's just a bunch of disks and my internal unit, I'm calling out the JBOD today, okay? So anyways, the other reason why I like the idea of cutting these off is that I can take this two by four Molex connector and reuse it to tap into the grounds. I'm gonna need 15 grounds and I'm gonna need nine five volts. I also really like this power supply option because it has these clips on it and I'm just going to be cutting these off. And these clips can go right back into the outputs on the PSU so that I can get more power out of the unit without destroying extra cables. These are nice because I'll get more grounds out of these 4 by 2s but these 6 these six by 2 plus the, the 2 by ones these are awesome because these will go into the the hard drive peripheral ones and they fit great and I can get my five volts using these clips here. And so I've got two of these six, these three by two and I've got two of these two by one. And with all of those combined, I will be pretty comfortable maybe using only these clips to provide my five volts to the unit. The five volts, I'm not really expecting a lot of draw on because the hard drives use 12 volts to spin up their drives. So I'm gonna just be clipping the wires today. And then once I've got everything clipped up, I'm going to solder everything together. So I've got my hardware here and the equipment that I'll be using today is a soldering iron. And this will let me join the wires together nicely. And I also went ahead and I got some shrink tubing. Uh, and I'm gonna make my wires nice and safe so you guys won't complain. And I also got this um, hot air gun. And uh, I was gonna get the cheap one, but then I was like, you know what, I better get a nicer one. So this one is just one step up. It was only like, like 10 bucks more. And so anyways, this will be how I shrink the tubing onto the wires. So, and then I just need a pair of clippers and I'm good to go. So this video will be basically me working and I hope it's entertaining for you guys. 
and uh, hopefully when everything's all done, we can plug this thing in and boot her up and hopefully it works. So this is what it sounds like when I have the original power supply plugged in and powered on. There's three fans on the power supplies. There's three separate power supplies in my JBODs. And there's also two high capacity fans as well on the chassis. And so it makes a lot of noise. And this is with the JBOD powered off. And all I have running right now is my external rig, which is pretty quiet. So if I go ahead and I want to turn on the new unit now and you guys can hear the sound difference. So it's pretty quiet, yeah? The sound that you're hearing is only the fans on the back of the unit on the chassis. I haven't switched those out. And you can really like, for me, I can hear the hard drives booting up and it's lovely, but uh, overall it's a lot quieter. And depending on how I feel about the sound, I might replace the fans at the back of the chassis, but I think it might be unnecessary because it's already pretty quiet. I'm trying to get it down to the level where I can record videos and not be overwhelmed with the sound of power supplies. Anyways, you guys might have noticed that the resolution is different and that's because I have a new camcorder. And so I finally got to knock those webcams and I'm going to start recording in 1080 at 60 frames a second. This will be the last video recorded at 30 frames a second and uh, I'm only recording at 30 frames per second just so I don't have any trouble encoding the video. This camcorder was donated to me by a community member and I really appreciate it, so thank you Height. So now that everything is done and working properly, I'll go ahead and quickly show you the new unit and give you a sneak peek at my internal rig. So here it is from the front and you can see some of the lights are a little hard to see but this camera is picking up really nicely. All the lights are on, uh, all the hard drives are powered. And um, off camera, I tested this and made sure that uh, this entire unit could plug into my computer and communicate over the data cables. So that was successful. 
And we can see the main controller board is working properly. There's no air lights on the back. And I believe the heartbeat LED is blinking exactly what it should be. And then if we look over here at our glorious creation, uh, we can see there's my 1000 watt power supply. And uh, we've got it. the cables all plugged in there. Some of the cables are a little short. So maybe if I optimize this in the future, I'm gonna lengthen some of the power cables. Mostly, the thing that's limiting me is the adapters for the five volts. You can see right here, uh, this one is basically plugged in only so I can get the five volts out of there. And that's true for all of the things I've plugged in here. Um, all of my peripherals, my SATA hard drive connector type connections, these are all only used for their five volts because the um, the CPU or the GPU adapters, they only put out 12 volts in grounds. And then over here, we can see that these connectors, these Molex connectors, which are the five by two, they're all plugged in. Um, and everything seems to be working properly. I tested the voltages and everything's well. Um, the only thing that I had to do that I wasn't planning to do was, I had to hijack some power to power the fan and the LED controller, which is this small board right here. So I just hijacked uh, power from the main controller power and it's pretty low wattage to light LEDs and spin the fans. So I wasn't too concerned about that. And finally, here's the view from the backside. You can see all those pretty LEDs lit up and things are working good. Before I wrap up this video, I'd like to share some of my learning experiences modding my power supply to work with the JBOD chassis. The first thing was, as I mentioned just a moment ago, the five volts were kind of the item in short supply. So getting a power supply that has six outputs with, that, with one wire of five volts is pretty helpful uh, because then I was able to make those two five volt wires go to the three five volt wires required by the back planes. A good power supply to use for this solution will also have lots of 12 volt and grounds coming out. And with this particular power supply, they were built in. They were part of the non-modular power outputs on this power supply. And that was extremely helpful because it allowed me to not only cut off the ends of the wires and use those to power the back planes, but also it gave me clips that I could go take, turn around and plug them back into the power supply. And that was really helpful for getting the required outputs I needed to power all these hard drives. So now that I can power on my JBOD without causing a whole bunch of noise, I can start my main series for how to set up an internal hard disk mining rig. And I'm going to be using these JBODs to do the trick. And so the next video I'm going to talk about how to set up the SAS HBA controller card and updating firmware and that kind of thing. I was planning to do it for this video, but the noise was just too much to bear and I had to separate it out. So stay tuned for that video, it should be next week. So I use a lot of new hardware in this video and I'll link it all in the description. I use the heat shrink tubing, which was recommended to me from one of my early videos. And I also use a pretty good heat gun. And I also use the new soldering iron that was given to me as a present. And so I can't really link that one because it's from Radio Shack and Radio Shack is no more. Having a nice soldering iron is definitely helpful. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it interesting and maybe informational and maybe it'll help you mod your own power supplies to be quieter. It sounds like there's a lot of you out there that have significant others that are perturbed by the noise from your machines. So I hope this helps you. Anyways, if you like this video, please like the video. And if you feel like it, please subscribe to my channel. I also have a Patreon channel where you can support me directly or burst address or Bitcoin address. They're in the description along with all of the hardware that I can show you today. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a great day.